No GPU? No worries. Here are some of the best games you can play on a low-spec PC or laptop. Low-spec PCs mean different things to different people. For some, that means a mid-range graphics card on a desktop or in a laptop. For others, it means no GPU at all. But even if the latter's true for you, it doesn't mean you can't play games. Yes, lots of games demand GTX this and RTX that, but there are plenty of experiences that you don't need to worry about checking your requirements for. In fact, the only requirement that these games have is that you play them. So subscribe to Logitech G for more videos just like this one, and let's look at some of the best games you can play on a super low-spec PC. Ah, you've come to the right place regarding that there, pal. There have officially been studies done about how moving house is one of the most stressful things we can ever do. Putting all of our possessions in boxes and hoping they arrive at the other end in one piece just isn't pleasant. But unpacking ignores all of the chaos, the address redirects, all of the new bills to pay in favour of one thing the best bit, making your room yours. This is a game about, well, unpacking and finding a new home for different things. It epitomises the joy of bringing order to an empty shell, and here over eight different house moves, we also get to gradually unravel the stories within these boxes. Although we'd rather not think about the stories people would think up if they had to unpack our belongings. Let's just focus on the zen. Ah, that's better. At Logitech G, we've been very big fans of Disco Elysium for a very long time. In fact, if you want to know how to make the most out of your first time playing, hit the link on screen now. But this year's final cut of the game adds so much more to what we'd already consider a complete masterpiece. Now, there's full voice acting to accompany your immersive journey, but that's not all. How interesting. There's also an entirely new set of quests in the game to build on your unique ability to form specific ideologies. These so-called political vision quests bring yet another layer of narrative complexity to an already rich game. Also in the final cut are new characters and locales as well as a whole new game mode. If the usual way to play isn't quite enough, hardcore mode makes everything significantly more difficult. A word of warning, it's maybe not for your first time playing. Don't be worried. Everything's going to be all right. If you're anything like us, you'll need at least one caffeine jolt to start the day, and nothing does that quite as well as a good coffee first thing in the morning. But while our favourite hot drink can be solitary, it's also the perfect way to catch up with friends, and that's exactly what Coffee Talk does so well. While you're serving up different hot beverages to paying customers, it's also a perfect jumping off point for conversation in this intriguing visual novel. The mechanics for building each drink are super satisfying satisfying, but aiding your customers with their problems is equally rewarding. And hey, even if you don't drink the java and are more of a tea person, Coffee Talk is the perfect place to kick back with an Earl Grey. They might be truly despicable, but everyone's favourite horrible goose doesn't have any entry requirements when it comes to causing complete chaos in this village. That means sandwich pilfering, honking and general villainous antics can all be performed on your PC whether it's gaming specific or not. There's something so satisfying about your to-do list of feathered carnage all being mapped out in italics like a nice shopping list. Instead of picking up milk or choosing a nice apple, however, you need to pursue and harass the poor members of this nice colourful community. And yes, that includes stealing from markets and chasing children into phone boxes. You don't need to cackle at the same time, but we do suggest it. It's good to be bad sometimes, and some birds just want to watch the world burn. From watching the world burn to piecing it back together again with love, 
wholesomeness and some nifty moves with a paintbrush, Chicory, a colourful tale, is like a gentle hug for your brain that's smartly written and innovative, but also is equally happy for you to go wild with a paintbrush if you just want to engage in some mindfulness and colouring in. No one is here to shout at you if you go over the lines, and everyone you paint will even stay that colour until you decide to change their look for them. With a super chill soundtrack from Lena Rain and a wonderful fuzzy feeling every time you play, Chicory is one of the quiet highlights of 2021. Of course, the farming game that just keeps on giving is on this list. Stardew Valley doesn't just have hundreds of hours of gentle, agricultural RPG to enjoy, further supported by the huge addition of Ginger Island last year, but it also requires no graphical exertion whatsoever. Who needs ray tracing when you've got chicken to look after and a grand mayonnaise empire to build? And now that we know Eric Barone is hard at work on the Haunted Chocolatier, it's the best possible time to go back into what could potentially be one of our last playthroughs and start a whole new farm in a new location. It's official, Hades, like a fine wine that spent a long time in the underworld, has only improved with age. It's been out for a while, but Zagreus' journey is still as compelling as it's ever been, and if you haven't experienced the joys of this roguelike, then we apologise for the hours you're about to spend levelling up across multiple runs. You don't earn 50 Game of the Year awards for nothing, you know. Hades gets the balance of power and run length just right, in a way that means trying to get out of hell is constantly entertaining. Add in the hilarious script Oh come on, it's not that bad, is it? and oh, just one more go fluidity of the combat and, secretly, you'll never really want to escape. Go on, find a weapon you like and get into flow state with no need whatsoever for high-powered GPU. So those are seven games you can play right now on a low-spec PC with no dedicated graphics card necessary. Let us know your GPU-free go-tos in the comments below. Drop us a like if you enjoyed the video, and remember to subscribe to Logitech G for more videos just like this one. If you do already subscribe, hit that notification bell so you never miss another video from us.